Good morning, folks. NASA's Earth Observatory with the shot of the day. Phytoplankton bloom covering most of Lake Ontario. As we heard last night, the replacement for the space fence is on deck, but the old one was taken down yesterday morning. You could find this and its last captures all together at spaceweather.com. So I put out three videos yesterday, the morning news, a website FYI because people keep asking, and section two of Agenda 21 Counter-Strike. Every citation and part of each chapter will be public. Observers who regularly watch premium content don't need the middle video. Folks, we have a chilly situation in South America. High pressure drives counterclockwise in the south while low pressure drives clockwise. That means they both pull Antarctic air north at their convergence and they are indeed creating significant cold events across a few nations there. Boy in event mode near PNG. Very minor deviation. We'll come back to the nearby quakes. Top weather watch appears to be weakening. Kiko still unsure of which road to choose as she approaches Baja. Complementing the reported double tap gamma burst yesterday, a third from Scorpius was detected. When we look at the sunspots, they are fickle and headed off the disk. Some magnetic mixing is developing in a few of the active regions, but they're just not producing significant flares. Coming to the solar wind, perhaps the CME impact has arrived, already overdue and seemingly slower and less dense than predicted. We haven't caught the wake yet, but so far the geomagnetics are slowly building instability and the more sensitive charts do indeed indicate that some form of impact occurred in the last five or six hours. Something interesting, GOES is clear, but ACE shows a brief high energy proton spike. Technically, that was a momentary radiation storm here on Earth. Given the CME potentially arriving now, and more streams on the way, near Earth space is energized. Ceres is still geocentrically opposed to Neptune today, and folks, how do these coronal holes just keep coming? Got the next one coming in, refusing to wait his turn. Watch score is 6 to 7 with uptick precursors across the planet. This region here is most unstable, but we are also having unusual and significant tremors north, like way, way north. Had a plasma filament rip off the sun to kick off September 2nd, pretty earth facing longitudinally, but most of the blast should miss south. If you're watching this, you can access more up to date satellite images. Got some other filaments to see and beautiful shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear, it's 6.30 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.